Can we talk about Jerry Jones for just one minute? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the owner of the Dallas Cowboys NFL football franchise, Jerry Jones, and the picture from 1957, if I'm not mistaken, that has been resurfaced that shows him among a crowd of white boys blocking the entrance to North Little Rock High School during the whole process of integration and desegregation. Now, this picture is really, in my humble opinion, a nothing burger. Much ado about nothing, but people are upset. They're saying, hey, Jerry Jones, you are a racist person. You're in this picture. How dare you? All this and that and the third. But really, is it that bad? Is it that bad? Now, let's go back to the picture. Okay, so we have context here. Now, like I said, 1957, North Little Rock High School, 60, what, five years ago, you have... A 14-year-old Jerry Jones, like I said, owner of the NFL football franchise, Dallas Cowboys, just onlooking. He's not doing anything. He doesn't appear to be saying anything. He's just in the crowd at 14 years old. Now, since, like I said, this is about desegregation and black folks coming into the school and they're blocking the entrance, people are saying that he's a racist, he's a white supremacist, and all the above. But is he really? Is he really? At 14 years old, I'm not really sure. Now, he's not actually doing anything here. Maybe this boy right here, and that's the touch how long ago it was. You got this quote unquote boy with a whole cigarette in his mouth. I mean, come on. But anyway, this is a very long time ago. He's not actually doing anything. He's not hurting anybody. He's 14 years old. I don't really see it as a big deal. And as a matter of fact, a lot of the people on the left, especially who are complaining about this, also don't see it as a big deal, especially since. He has proven himself to be a friend to the black community. Oh, yes, he has. How many NFL football players have gone through the Dallas Cowboys um, franchise? Your Emmitt Smith and your uh, Michael Irvin and everybody else. How many of these guys have gone through the NFL? Like right now, what you got? Dak Prescott. Isn't he a black quarterback? Isn't that a whole thing? Oh, not enough black quarterbacks. Well, there's no black head coach on the Dallas Cowboys. So what? How many black men that went through there and became multi, multi, multi millionaires and change not only their life, but their entire family's life, okay? You're talking about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten households they take care of based upon the cash they get from the so-called racist Jerry Jones. If he was a racist, and why are so many black men who played for him, who know him, who have spent time around him coming to his defense right now, okay? I don't really see this as an issue at all. He's 14 years old in the picture, and that's it, Okay? Of course, there's there's iPads and think pieces right here from uh, Washington Post talking about Jerry Jones. Well, the, the head right here above it says Jerry Jones never hired a black head coach. He could lead change, but he doesn't. So this headline says Jerry Jones helped transform the NFL, except when it comes to race. And then the subhead decades after uh, standing on the front lines of one of Little Rock's darkest segregation Clashes, the Dallas Cowboys owner has led the lead toward new revenue models, but has yet to hire a black head coach. Okay. So, like I said, there's more, but this right here, just to read it for more context. On the first day of classes at North Little Rock High, a crew cut sophomore named Gerald Wayne Jones, Jerry Jones, found his spot among a phalanx of white boys who stood at the front entrance and blocked the path of six black students attempting to segregate the school. Now, this is part of a picture you may have seen before. See, this one right here, you may have seen that, you may not have seen that, but there's another picture I want to show you. And this is the same area, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the same high school, North Little Rock High School. Um, this is the Little Rock 9, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I have a story about this picture, um, and I don't want to get too, too personal, but I know someone who is related to the woman in front, Elizabeth Eckford. Look her up. Don't take my word for it. Now, you see her walking, right? The black woman right there walking with her her um, notebook or whatever that is. She's walking, and you see the looks of people behind her, right? You see the angry looks. They don't like that she's there at all. And you see one particular one right, right behind her screaming, screaming, literally screaming at her as she's walking. Now, years later, these two, Miss Eckford and the woman behind her became friends. Yes, they did. Look it up. Her name, Elizabeth Eckford. 
North Little Rock High School, Little Rock 9. Look at one right here behind her. They became friends later on in life. So she's actively doing something. I'm, I can't tell if she is an adult or whatever, but she's actively doing something, screaming at her, following her, doesn't want her there, very hostile, but they became friends later. So they became friends. Then what are we talking about with Jerry Jones when he didn't even do anything in this picture? There's been no allegation of him doing anything to anybody, saying anything to anyone, screaming at anybody. So what are we actually talking about? I think this story is nothing. Furthermore, like I said, a lot of the people who are upset about this or claiming to be upset voted for Joe Biden and Joe Biden made these very um, <laughs> racially charged comments about a quote unquote racial jungle. He was 35 years old and he was in the Senate at the time. So he was an actual U.S. lawmaker from Delaware in the Senate, 35 years old with a family, a wife and kids and everything and said he does not want his children to grow up in the racial jungle due to desegregation and integration. He said that at 35 years old and a lot of people that are mad about Jerry Jones in the picture at 14 years old doing nothing, have nothing to say about Joe Biden being a senator, a lawmaker, a guy that can actually change your life saying that in 1977, when he was 35 years old. Okay. Jerry Jones, 20 years before this was in the picture. That's a big problem, but this right here is not the same people who are mad about Jerry Jones voted for this guy right here. Did Donald Trump ever do anything like that? No, we didn't. There's a video. Let's see if it plays the actual audio. And if not, we keep on moving. Okay. Can we get some sound or nah? Let's, let's try it this way. There we go. Yeah, I don't think so. It probably won't be any sound here. So I'll, I'll just read this piece right here. Joe Biden worried in 1977 that certain segregation policies would cause his kids to grow up in the racial jungle. Former Vice President Joe Biden is facing increased scrutiny over his record on busing and racial issues. And this week, old comments resurfaced in which he said in 1977 that uh, non quote unquote orderly racial integration policies would cause his children to grow up in the racial jungle. Okay. He said in 1977. Now here's, here's something I got to say about that. I have to defend Joe Biden here a little bit because my dad told me about this because he lived through the whole thing about um, integration and busing. And he said that he didn't like it. It wasn't good. You got bus far away from your friends and people that you knew and you're in a new place where they don't like you. You don't fit in. It's a cultural clash. See, the thing is people just wanted the government to kind of get out of it. But all they did was just dig in more. You see back during segregation, you had laws in the books that said you cannot be over here. If you're black, you cannot be over here. If you're white, you cannot be over here. If you're other than this particular race is designated for Okay, color only, no whites. White only, no colored. That's just what it was. So the goal probably was just to have the government back away. But then when the government got into it, they forced integration. And that was a problem. White folks didn't like that. A lot of black folks didn't like that. So people got to just look at history for what it was rather than what they think it is based upon 2022 standards. Like I say, a lot of this stuff is just bogus. I don't even know what the purpose of releasing that photo was. Um, are they trying to take the Dallas Cowboys from Jerry Jones? You're going to take that franchise from his cold dead hands. <laughs> and, it, and even when he's gone, it won't be nobody else's other than his family's, most likely. So, yeah, that whole thing, a nothing burger. People have been able to forgive those who were involved. Oh, and one more. Robert Byrd, the infamous former Klan member from West Virginia, who was from my particular county, okay, Canal County, West Virginia, where I was born. He was a college graduate and later became a Klan member. So he wasn't a young man, ignorant, nothing like that. He was an educated man in his mid-20s, um, up, up to like maybe even 30, being a Klan member. And then he renounced it and said that we moved beyond that the same way Jerry Jones did. Jerry Jones was like, well, I'm glad we're not in that particular stage of life anymore. I'm glad we're getting beyond that. Jerry Jones have employed many black men, has helped many black men succeed in their life. I mean, many hundreds, maybe if, if not thousands of black men, he's helped succeed in their life. And then by the great separation, you've helped hundreds of thousands of black men and women succeed in their life. Okay. From having your NFL football franchise. 
Robert Byrd was forgiven. Robert Byrd was a mentor to Barack Obama, to Hillary Clinton. Barack Obama spoke at his funeral. So I don't understand how people can just look at this picture and just condemn him to the pits of hell without any kind of context, without anything else, without mentioning that he's 14, without mentioning he wasn't even doing anything, especially when those same people who want to condemn him support Joe Biden when he was 35 years old talking about a racial jungle who support uh, Barack Obama, whose mentor was a former Klan member. Okay, you may have done a particular thing in your past. You may have been in a particular space or a place in your past. That doesn't mean that you really believe that. And that's who you are right now. And I think at the age of 14, pretty much everybody watching this is not the exact same way they were or are right now today. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this picture with Jerry Jones in front of North Little Rock High School? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This was 66 years ago. Okay, you're talking about a thing that is so old. I don't even know how they found that picture, really. I don't even know how they identified Jerry Jones in that picture. And why is it just now being identified? Is there a particular reason? Because obviously the picture is not brand new. The picture has been around for a long time. And Jerry Jones has been Jerry Jones for many, 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 many years. Before the Dallas Cowboys, he was an oil tycoon in Texas. So I'm just trying to figure out why is it coming out now? What's the purpose? Are we just so, um, do we just, we have a fatigue of, do we have a, a lack of stories coming out? So we got to create stories. This was a nothing burger. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I don't care about that. I'm doing a video right now just to say that I don't care. Number one and number two, to point out the hypocrisy behind the whole situation. People that are mad about Jerry Jones also voted for Joe Biden. Make that make sense. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.